Hi parents and guardians, in my today's video, we will talk about phrases to use when your child is not listening to you. And we will learn how to have no drama when it comes to speaking to and teaching our children. With a strong intention and some focus, your kids will be listening better and cooperating more easily so you can spend more time connecting than correcting. Let's get begin. There are many things that parenthood teaches us, and one of the best is that our children are often the best mirrors. When I first found the work of positive parenting, I was a new parent who thought I kind of knew it all. I had always been great with kids, so of course, when I had my own, things would just fall into place, right? Not exactly. When life pivoted, the year I became a full-time stay-at-home mom, my perspective shifted and I soon realized that my three years old son who seemed to be misbehaving sometimes had some incredible things to teach me. One of the first lessons was that no matter how many ways I tried to teach him how to be a respectful, kind, little human who listened and respected others, it was all in how I acted, communicated, and treated him that was teaching him the most. As I learned more and more about ways of positive parenting, I slowly replaced my open judgmental, negative, threatening tone with a neutral, problem-solving, empathetic, encouraging one. This took tons of practice of course and I'm still a work in progress and my little boy behavior improved dramatically. Today, I will share to you my 8 positive magic phrases that I use that are great place to start if you would like to make a fresh start with your communication and help your kids to listen to you. Number 1. Please talk softly. Take a break from saying, stop yelling or be quiet. For example, you can say, in a whispering voice, you can say, please talk softly or whisper. The explanation is, some kids are naturally louder than others. If they have trouble speaking softly, show them where they can go to be loud and also use the power of the whisper. In combination with gentle touch and eye contact, whispering is an incredible effective way to get kids to listen. Number 2. Do you want to leave now or in 10 minutes? Take a break from saying, time to go now. Example, you can say, do you guys want to leave now or play for 10 minutes then leave? Why this is work? Kids love to be in charge of their own destiny, especially power kids. It takes a bit of proactivity but it works like a charm. Give them a choice and they respond much better when you say, Okay, 10 minutes is up, time to go. Number 3 Respect yourself and others. You have to take a break from saying, be good. For example, you can say, Gabriel, remember to respect yourself and others when you're inside the junkie today. Explanation, be specific here as kids often don't absorb the general statements we throw at them. Ask for what you want and have them restate what is important to remember. Number 4. Let's add the toy you want to your birthday list. Take a break from saying, we can't afford that. Try these phrases instead. Gabriel, I am not willing to buy that. Would you like me to put it on your birthday wish list? Explanation. If we are being honest, we often can afford the $5 deco at checkout. We're just not willing to purchase it. Instead of blaming our finances and creating feelings of scarcity, on your limit and offer ideas to help them learn how to get it like in birthday or earning money etc number five what did you learn from this mistake take a break from saying shame on you or you should know better you should say what did you learn from this mistake gabriel explanation focusing on motivation to change behavior for the future will get you much better result 
then placing shame on past misbehavior. Number six, what do you need to remember? Take a break from saying, be careful, try to say this. What do you need to remember when you play at the park? Or you can say, please move slow like a careful turtle when walking on top of that wall. Explanation, kids often ignore when we say this same thing again and again. Instead, engage their critical thinking skills and have them restate the important precaution. Number 7. Would you like to do it on your own or have me help you? Take a break from saying, I've asked you three times, do it now. Say this instead, it's time to leave, would you like to put on your shoes by yourself or have me help you? The explanation is, most kids respond incredibly well to being empowered. Give them a choice and their critical thinking skills override their temptation to push back. Number 8. Use your teamwork skills. Take a break from saying, don't be bossy and no one will want to play with you if you act like that. You can say for example, you're a great leader. Remember to use your teamwork skills today. Ask your friends questions instead of telling them what to do and let others have a turn leading to explanation. Many kids who have a strong desire to lead or feel powerful are often told they're bossy or that no one will want to be their friends if they act mean. Instead, become a coach of your child and teach them how good leaders lead with integrity, asking instead of commanding and showing instead of telling and taking turns. The lesson was clear for me. Talk to many humans the way you would like to be talked to and things will go a lot smoother. Easier said than done. So over the years, I have adapted the motto, progress over perfection. Thank you for watching. And if you are parents or guardian watching this, please comment below and share your thoughts how to deal with your kids when they are not listening and much appreciated if you give thumbs up share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates thank you bye for now and see you next video